I'm Pastor Ellie. And I'm Pastor Kurt. And we're from Seven Seas Ministries. And have you ever heard of the words proclaim, declare, and confess? Well, today we'd like to talk to you about those three words. We hear a lot lately about proclamations and declarations and confessions. And they have been tied in with having faith. And they've been tied in with verses in, in the Bible that talk about uh, the talk about faith and how you know things things that aren't and and they will become or how faith is the evidence of things unseen mm -hmm. and in on the surface if you look at the things just at the surface level it all sounds good mm -hmm. it sounds possible right it right sounds on. true <laughs> yeah um, but we want to talk today about where those things came from mm. and what they're really connected to. And it's, excuse me, it's not, it's not something that God has taught us to do. Mm. God did not teach us to proclaim things to make them so. That's right. He didn't teach us to declare things to make them so. Mm. And he didn't teach us to confess things to make them so. Mm -hmm. If you were to search the entire Bible for the word confess, it's only used in two instances. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying two times, but in two different ways. Mm -hmm. It's used, first of all, that we confess our sins. And second of all, that we confess Jesus as the Christ yes, or as our right. Savior. Mm -hmm. Those are the confessions that the Bible talks about. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to declaring, we are to declare God's truth. We are to declare God's glory. Yes. We are to declare who God is. Right. It's all about Him. It's about God. Mm -hmm. That is it. That's the only thing that the Bible says about declaring. Mm -hmm. uh, proclaiming, the same thing. We proclaim the goodness of God. Yes. We proclaim the truth of God. Mm -hmm. So what is it that we're talking about today? What is it about proclaiming, declaring, and confessing um, that's, that's so troubling? Mm -hmm. Well, it's been, those three words have been taken and, and twisted, mm -hmm. and they've been turned upside down, and they've been turned into a tool that, that many believers are using mm -hmm. to try to obtain things or status or stature or financial gain mm -hmm. um, it's it a lot of it is tied into um, specific movements mm -hmm. within the body of Christ that have been going on for you know a few decades or more mm -hmm. now but in reality if we were to really get down and look at them very closely. If we were to put them under a microscope, mm. so to speak, and look at them closely, mm -hmm. we would see that the roots of these three things come from New Age movements. Mm. That's the movement they come from. Mm -hmm. They're not from a move of God, they're from a move of man. Yes. New Age teaches us, teaches people, Mm. That they can speak things and have them. Yes. That they can visualize things and have them. Mm -hmm. You have the name it, claim it movement. Yes. You have right. the power of positive thinking mm. and so many other things that are all new age based. Yes. They have right. nothing whatsoever to do with the gospel of Christ. Mm. They have nothing to do with the truth of the word of God. Mm -hmm. They are completely man-made and they are completely self-centered mm, it's yes, all about right. making our lives the way we want them to be right and what's happened is people have taken pieces of the Word of God that talk mm. about faith mm -hmm. and that talk about trusting God for those things that aren't as though they are mm -hmm. and they've attached new age principles. thinking and mm -hmm. new age principles yeah. to Scripture Mm -hmm. And the two can't coexist. No. You cannot put oil and water together. Mm. They don't exist. That's right. They will not coexist. Mm -hmm. They separate. They may sit next to each other mm -hmm. or one on top of the other. They cannot mix. Right. The Word of God cannot be mixed right. 
with anything that's not truth. Mm -hmm. The Word of God cannot be mixed with New Age philosophies. Some people may look and say, well, you know, they they seem to go pretty good together. False. Okay. (laughs) Period. False. That's right. Truth is truth and lies are lies. That's right. And yes, we are supposed to have faith. Mm -hmm. As we've talked about numerous times in the last year or two, our faith is in God, our trust is in God, our hope is in God. That's right. Our hope is not in proclaiming something and speaking it to be so. That's right. And and I'm going to be honest, I was mowing the lawn a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, mowing lawns, when I mow the lawn, it's mindless activity. <laughs> So because I'm not thinking about anything except mowing the lawn, God talks to me a lot when I mow mm. the lawn. Mm. So I was mowing the lawn and he started, he started like dumping all this into me and talking about proclamations and declarations and confessions. Mm. And he, he told me very specifically, he said, look, I want you to understand this. Somebody can proclaim something all they want they can declare something and confess something all they want but if they don't look to me and listen to me and do the things that I tell them to do they will just be proclamations declarations and confessions right right. and he gave me an example and and this is just one example but a person who is addicted to alcohol a person who is an alcoholic can proclaim themselves to be clean and sober all they want. That's right. And and keep right on drinking. That's right. They can declare that they are clean and sober all they want and still keep right on drinking. Mm -hmm. And those declarations and those proclamations and those confessions don't change the situation. That's right. All they do is sound pretty coming out of our mouths. That's right. But until we trust God, and we put our faith in God and not in our words, Mm -hmm. not in our declarations, proclamations, and confessions, until we put our hope, trust, and faith in God, Mm -hmm. and we follow what He tells us to do, we obey Him, nothing will change. That's right. Now, I'm going to disarm some critics right now, because I know some people are saying, well, yeah, but, you know, our words are powerful. Mm -hmm. All right? Our Mm -hmm. words are powerful. Mm. But our words alone can't make things happen. That's right. Our words do frame our world. The Bible says that the power of life and death are in the tongue. Mm. So the things that we speak make a difference. Mm-hmm. But our, we cannot speak things into existence simply by speaking them. Right. We cannot just sit back mm. and declare something. Mm-hmm. and say, well, I declare it, it's so. Mm-hmm. Well, your words may be so, but the thing you're declaring is not so unless right. God, number one, allows it to happen. That's right. And number two, <laughs> shows us what to do to make it That's happen. That's right. So we need to disconnect mm. from this New Age philosophy that That's has right. that has wormed its way into the church. Yes. It's falsehood. Yes, it is. It's a lie. Yes. It is not of God. Mm. It is a man-made philosophy Mm -hmm. that is destroying people. And it's causing us as a church to become very prideful. Mm -hmm. And people are declaring and proclaiming and confessing things and Mm. being arrogant and prideful about it because they believe that by speaking it, that it's so. Mm -hmm. If God does not ordain it, it is not of God. And if we push the issue and we make it so because Mm. we think it should be so, then we are stepping way outside of the Mm -hmm. boundaries of where God wants us to operate. That's right. That's right. There there are so many different names for this. Like I said, name it, claim it, visualization, Mm. the power of positive thinking. If you were to go and spend a little bit of time researching those things, you would see that Mm. they are definitely connected to the proclamation and and declaration and confession thing that has penetrated the church. Yes. So we want you to be very aware of these things. Mm. We want you to be very careful of them. Mm -hmm. This is not a condemnation of any kind toward anybody, Mm. but it's a, it's a wake up 
for those of us that may have fallen for this because yes. it's been spoken by mm. pastors and other well-known Christian yes. teachers. Yes. If they have fallen for it and they're spreading it, it doesn't mean that we have to follow. Mm. We need to understand truth. Yes. And the truth is that these are no more than New Age philosophies wrapped in a tiny little piece of mm. faith-based scripture. Yes, that's right. The Bible does tell us that we need to have faith. Mm. And it does, it does tell us that, that we need to believe for the things that God says are, mm -hmm. even when they still aren't. Mm -hmm. But this does not give us the power to conjure up things mm -hmm. and proclaim them and That's declare right. them. That's right. So take this seriously, please. Mm. Understand that this is something that can, it can really ruin lives mm. because it gets us off track for one thing. It slowly pulls us away from God to the point where, exactly. even, you know, it, it may look at first like they're on the same mm. path, but it's off just enough so that as God moves forward and that moves forward, they end up further and further apart. Yes. And before we know it, we're way off here somewhere mm. and we're, we're off track, right. we're way off track. Mm -hmm. So take this to heart, ask God about it, yeah. get in his word as we always tell you to do. Get in God's word. Don't just take our words for it. Yes, that's right. Get in God's word. See what God's Word says about proclaiming, declaring, and confessing. Right. I promise you right now, when you, when you find declare and you find confess, it's going to be talking about Christ, and it's going to be talking about God, and it's going to be talking about confessing our sins. Mm. None of the other stuff That's will be right. in there. Right. Nowhere. I promise mm. you. Please, look it up. And the Bible says not to add. Do not add or subtract right. to his word. Right. And it, you know, it, it talks about that specifically in Revelation. Mm -hmm. It talks about the prophecy. But in general, we should never add to That's or take right. away from his word. That's right. And we need to make sure that we're relying strictly on the truth of God's word mm. and not the vain philosophies of man. That's right. Amen. 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 So hopefully this will help. Uh, we just pray that this will, will set some people free yes. from this awful thing that has penetrated the church. Mm. And uh, feel free to share the video. If, you know, maybe you know somebody who's, mm. who's kind of dabbling in these things and getting into them. Yes. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a lot more that, that we could say, but I think we've probably said enough of it now mm. just to kind of hit this thing and, uh, you know, get, get, the, get the wheels turning mm. and get the ball rolling. So enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, please let us know if you have any prayer requests, mm -hmm. any questions. Uh, we always enjoy hearing from you guys. And we love you. We love you. And we want the best for you. Yes. And we hope you enjoy your time with your family. Mm -hmm. And uh, just hug on somebody, love on them. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.